Welcome back to another episode of Vintage Verified. So today we are going to be looking at some rather interesting mechanics dealing with the seller. So there have been a lot of requests to look at some of the various materials that can be used to make a seller. What would be the best material? What is the maximum size? Is there any way to get additional modifiers? Just general things. And I think that we can answer a lot of those here today. So let's start out by looking at the materials for a cellar. So we have here one made of dirt, one made of hay grass, one made of stone. Now these are all nine blocks deep. And so they are actually larger than what a cellar can be. And we'll go over that in just a little bit. But strangely enough, if we look at a chest that's out in the open, we get 0.78% or 0.78 times uh, food, food spoilage. And if we go in here, we're at 0.39. Now, all of these materials, uh, dirt, hay grass, and stone, all give 0.39 at this distance. Where it gets interesting is when we start blocking off the entrance. So if we place a bit of dirt here, we can see this changes down to 0.26. Now, if we do the same thing over here with the stone, we block ourselves in, we can see this is also 0.26. Now, the strange one is actually right here. If we block off, we have 0.39. If we block off this one with the hay, we get 0.32. So actually, the hay bales are worse than stone or dirt. Now there are a few other materials here that uh, we need to check. So uh, we'll look at that one here in a little bit. So first off we have mud bricks. So obviously this one is not as deep so it is not going to be as good to start out with but once we close it up we should, if it works, see the exact same 0.26. So the mud bricks will work. So let's go ahead and go into stone bricks. So once again, 0.26, exact same. So cobblestone, 0.26. How about logs? 0.32, so logs are not quite as good. About the same as your hay bales. So now pine planks, and again, 0.32. So wood, whether it be logs, planks, and hay bales, will all work as cellar walls, just not as effectively as stone and soil. Now, this is an interesting one. So every single block in this set is a chiseled block. And we can see that on the interior. I have chiseled out the inside, and then I put another layer of blocks around the exterior but this is the same depth as those. So now, if we take this block, this should be our chiseled block, and block this up, we have 0.39. So chiseled blocks don't work as good. Now, here in just a second, I will replace all of the blocks around the exterior with normal blocks, see if that makes any difference. But another thing that was to be tested was, does ice make a difference? So we've already determined that granite stone bricks are an effective wall for a cellar. So let's go ahead and close this up and 0.28. So actually putting ice in your cellar makes it worse. Strangely enough, that actually makes it worse. So yes, do not put ice in your cellar. So the next thing is maximum size. So here we go with a maximum size cellar. The cellar can be seven blocks by seven blocks horizontally and then eight blocks vertically. And you can literally put any blocks inside of this, but once again, putting a lot of ice is going to make things worse. So if we put a bunch of ice in here, now we're at 0.27, whereas if we get rid of all of this ice, now we're at 0.26. I guess another thing to check there would be glass. So let's go ahead and go over to our decorative blocks and where, yeah, oh, nope, they're in construction. 
I am still trying to get this all figured out. So green glass is one that we can make. So let's put down like about eight blocks of glass. And yes, that does the same thing. So we don't want to put glass, ice, probably, uh, well, let's try putting in about eight hay bales and see what that does. So yes, the more blocks that we put internally, the worse this gets. So keep that in mind. Uh, lighting, though, is an interesting one. It does not seem to affect the spoil timer. But let's try it since we just saw what happens when we put a lot of things in. So let's put a whole bunch of lanterns in. And that still has not affected it at all. So, yes, feel free to light up your cellar as much as you would like because we are still at 0.26. So lighting doesn't matter, but glass, hay bales, probably wood, uh, ice, those all will negatively affect the cellar. Now, another one that I would like to try, because this, with a cellar this large, you may need to do this. So I want to place in a bunch of ladders and see if these affect anything adversely. And no, it has not. So an interesting thing here is the door. So that is the next thing for us to look at. Ooh, that has actually broken our cellar. So if we break that back out and put our door back in. Hmm, did I make this too big? Is it seven by seven by seven? No. Ooh. Now that is very interesting. So blocking a maximum size cellar with solid blocks. Hmm. Okay, dirt works, but oh, I know why those were chiseled blocks. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That makes more sense now. Okay. So those two that messed things up were a chiseled block. But so putting ladders inside does not make any difference. Now, if we throw a lot of stone bricks internally, is this going to affect things? Is it just blocks internally? No. So stone bricks will not affect it. So that would probably mean that dirt will not. So our effective uh, materials, so stone bricks, mud bricks, uh, cobblestone, soil, and raw stone, probably a smooth stone as well. All of those can be placed internally with no adverse effects. Any of the blocks that uh, are semi-insulators, I guess you could say, so the wood items, hay grass, uh, chiseled blocks, ice, uh, those are going to glass those are going to give you adverse effects lighting does not give adverse effects ladders does not give adverse effects now the the next thing is the entrance now we've already seen it the door works so we do have slightly higher store or spoil rate near the door and that is actually because of the amount of skylight that is coming in so we were at 0.28 there. If we fill this back a little bit, so we'll come back away from this just a bit more. And now, if we go in here and take a look, we're at 0.27. So getting rid of access to skylight will actually reduce the timer here. So we're still at 0.27. Open and closed door does not make any difference, so you can leave your door open. Um, another thing to check would be the double door, since that is what I am using, and that does not negatively affect either, as long as you can make sure that you have an adequate amount of distance between the doors and skylight. So there's some things to keep in mind. Now, final little tidbits elevation of the build for a cellar so way up we can just barely see it there there is a block up at sky limit or at build limit that 
it has a chest on top of it. And that chest actually has the same decay rate as this one right here. And if we drop down to the bottom of the world, we will find that we get the same thing. And actually, this will be slightly off because of the fact that, well, no, it, it didn't even affect it. So, uh, yes, we get... Elevation doesn't make any difference. You don't need to build your cellar underground, even though building it underground would definitely save on the need to change things. And then you should actually be able to use some chiseled blocks inside without too much negative effect. So, I think we've got the majority of our questions answered here on the cellar. So, yeah, if you guys have any more things that you would like to know about the cellar, uh, leave it down in the comments. Um, if this helped you out, be sure to leave a like. And, of course, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.